Okay then, so I saw this, you have been not well this yeah, week. Yeah, I have not been well this week at all. So I trudged out on Sunday. <laughs> uh, I only watched Track Creature 1 last week, just as, as a means to catching up. Really? Uh, I'd heard things about it's it that I thought m- might appeal to me. Um, I mean, the fact that Werner Herzog is in it is crazy. The fact that he plays a sort of a, a villain with barely any fingers, and he just has a, a few scenes, and he's just brilliant in all of them. So that was exciting, I like that. Uh, so Feel in, the worm. Exactly, and f- f- it, why is he not running? Feel the, feel, feel the Vern. Vern. Feel the Vern, that's perfect. There you go. Uh, so in this one, Jack Reacher is... Well, he's Jack Reacher, and he? he's in the books, he's this massive tall guy. That's the whole thing that people criticise the film for, that Jack Reacher's about seven foot tall, and in Tom Cruise is about five and a half foot. Yeah. He's not the biggest of guys. He's not, he's not, he's not tall. Uh, in this... Tall? Well, he's, he's a general, isn't he? Or he's a... No, he's a, he's a former... He's a former, he's a former like, general. I thought yeah. he was yeah. an investigator. No, well, he's, yeah, he, he, well, like, yeah. He's, he's, yeah. But he's he, off the grid. In, in his sort of, like... Uh, military days he was one of the highest ranking officers or whatever you call him uh, in this one he has been framed for a crime that he didn't commit uh, as has Kobe Smulders character she is of the same sort of rank I forget what it is now though um, so they have to go on the run together in the meanwhile Jack Reacher finds out that he might have a daughter and this becomes a very strange hybrid of action and then sort of family relationship mm. drama Ooh. Hmm. So uh, the first one was Chris from Macquarie, who obviously went on to do uh, Mission Impossible Five. I believe he's doing Mission Impossible Six as well. The first director to stay on for more than one MI film. It's a completely different cast as well. Just Tom Cruise that stays around from the first one, and there really is very little resemblance to Jack Reacher when you watch this one. It's been three, four years, and it 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 feels like a sequel, but it doesn't feel like a sequel to Jack Reacher. If you get what I mean? Yeah. So if it feels like more like in spirit, it's yeah. got that sequel feel, as in everything. It's lost that star power. It, it feels a bit inadequate, but it doesn't feel like it's fallen from Jack Reacher. It, it's more like Tom Cruise than Jack Reacher. Um, glare and lack of Werner Herzog is the one thing I would say. The villains in this film have no presence at all. Um, they're very. It's, it's a lot of running around, a lot of chasing around for not much reason. It's a bit. It, it means to an end of nothing. Uh, I mean, you, you can't. You kind of can't follow on from Werner Herzog who did such a good job yeah. to this one where there's just nothing at all yeah. um, by the, the end I mean by the end of the film it diverts completely from this sort of action film and the last 10 minutes is, is, is like sort of really so- it ends on piano music does it? Yeah. yeah action film ends on piano music that just really set that that, uh, that just felt a bit strange um, there it is again Oh. We're not on that anymore. <laughs> Put alert. Put alert. I, feel, I feel like it was reaching for something. Uh. Oh, God, oh, get Put out. Alert. No, awful. <laughs> you're reaching, leave, you're reaching. The thing with Jack Reacher 1 as well is obviously that it was very stupid and very silly. Uh, and I think it, it knew that. Uh, this one has that same sort of stupidity, but it's sort of played very straight-faced. It doesn't seem to be very self-aware of itself. It doesn't seem to acknowledge or recognise just how silly it all is I mean a lot, a lot of the best parts of the film are Tom Cruise kicking people and hitting people I mean and, that's that's all that a lot people. of people are going to go for really wasn't it that's why I enjoyed the first one yeah, yeah those fights were really well yeah, done yeah they, they were really well done really well choreographed and, and I can sort of say the same thing for this one the uh, the action is you know suitably grisly I mean yeah. it, considering it's a 12A it, it, it's 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 pretty you know bleak some of the things that he does some of the, the takedowns that he has yeah. uh, but on the whole it's a, it's a pretty standard action thriller which has kind of no frills to it at all. It's a very, very basic, very plain, not much directional flair on it at all. Well, I mean, uh, well, Little White Lies called it solid and uninspired. That's, Would you agree that's with that? That's a fair assessment, yeah. It's, yeah. it's solid enough to pass two hours, but yeah. really there's nothing that you've not seen before, and it could have been done a lot better. And it's not really very thrilling for a thriller. Did it need to be made? Like if you think, because I didn't think they needed a sequel to Jack Reach, and I know they've got the books. But... Yeah, I mean the money was there. There's, it's, it's definitely an influenced decision from the money uh, and and the, Tom Cruise obviously produces this one as well so he obviously had some kind of creative input mm. to it but he doesn't really seem that interested it, it seems like he um, he's just sort of doing it and there's no reason for him to be there I mean I mean Roseman Pike in the first one I liked a lot and David Oyelowo as well yeah uh, and and this one doesn't have that star part if you were to say who's in it I would say Tom Cruise Kobe Smulders and probably stronger for that in some way though no, I don't. I don't. I don't think it is. It doesn't. It doesn't bear any resemblance to the first one. I, I certainly didn't enjoy it as much as the first one, if at all. Really, it was solid. I think that's a, that's a good assessment from Little White Lies. Solid, but Fair nothing enough. more. Uh, so that's Jack Reacher. I am not going to recommend it particularly because there is always better stuff. Out.